Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to be showcasing the brand new Grim Dolex that just got released in Magic Elements. So this is a really good game that doesn't get enough love, so check it out in the description. Make sure to play it. The uh, owner was kind enough to give me this because I didn't have enough money to actually buy it and I couldn't find it in the shop. Well, I, I probably would have ended up just server hopping until I found it, but he gave me it, but he took my money, so shout out to the him. But also, uh, shout out to this guy. Nixty Sp Nixty fire I'm not sure quite how to pronounce that, but he, he's helping me out as a test dummy. For some reason, nobody else wants to join them and beat them up for the showcase. Wonder why. So he has it on right now along with the mode. So this is what it looks like. It looks so good. In case you don't know, um, there are duelixes in this game. They're basically there are a bunch of them. They're basically all a sword and a gun, but they look different and the gun acts differently. Um, but, so, they're all limited. This one it, is a limited as well. It's only available this month. Though it's not spinnable. So keep that in mind, you cannot spin it. To get it, you have to buy it for Ryu. It's 6 million something in the shop. Or it's a 1 in 200 chance to appear in the Robux shop for 4.99 Robux. So a pretty good deal for how crazy overpowered this is. This is definitely the new best one. It also has the most moves out of any Duelix. So this is what it looks like. It looks really good. It is the generic Q, E, and R move. Um, e each one of them does 4,000 at max level, it appears. And also same with just the hits. Oh, that did, that did 2,000 for some reason. Okay, I think it does more damage the closer you are. It's kind of weird. I don't know that first one only did 2,000. So then it has the uh, gun. The gun's actually unique. It's, it's a unique Dulux gun. So, you can, you can move at full speed while aiming it, and its gun is actually this, this beam thing eh, that does a lot of damage, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. But it actually, um, it, as you can see, it does not take any mana, it takes health instead. So this takes your health to shoot, but in return, it has uh, two healing moves. First, I'm going to show the teleport move. It's a spammable long-range teleport that is really good. And then the Soul Chaser, you shoot out this r really cool looking projectile that does a lot of damage and then it heals you, which is crazy overpowered. But, and it's also pretty spammable, spammable, but just look how good this effect is and it's also really fast. It also is probably like the best uh, like actual like controllable like projectile event in a game I've seen. Like normally they just kind of go off to walls wherever you're looking at, like instead of it just being like, stuck on the wall I can actually bring it back towards me, which is really nice. And the effect looks great. This is definitely my favorite looking Dulux yet, yet I've seen. So the the third move, Life Drain, basically... Oh, also, th that effect, that's what happens when you activate the mode. So Life Drain, it's similar, I guess, to the first move. It damages the enemy and also heals you. But it's a uh, close range, like, AoE. I'm gonna wait for him to come back. I sh I'm, I'm actually gonna stay near the NPCs, right over here, so I can have people to test on before he comes by. Oh, s sorry, uh, but I need to test it. So as you can see, it does a lot of damage and then also heals you, but that's a close range. Um, it's just, so it has two healing moves, which is really good. I'm actually gonna try to. F oh, here he is. Alright, so, so the next move is Pumpkins of Doom, which I'm actually gonna. Where are some NPCs? I'm not. I'm not actually too familiar with this new map. Where are NPCs? Oh, I think they're over here. Near the palm trees. Oh, yeah, here's some machine house. Oh, oh. All right. So, so, so the next wave is Pumpkins of Doom. It's like a crowd control kind of barrage type thing. So it, it does a lot of damage, and it's does, and it's really fast too. Also, I think it, I'm not sure. It definitely doesn't have the biggest AOE, like the biggest hitbox of any, uh, li like of any. Oh, the limited shop refreshed. I'm, I'm actually sure what was in it last time I didn't check. Oh, look at that damage at point blank. That's gonna one shot anyone besides the developers. Um, the, the next move is Souls of the Dead. Also, the, these are the level requirements. It should have been getting, but I'll show it again. Pretty high level requirements. Um, the Souls of the Dead. This one, it's. A little hard to control it's kind of like a crowd control so it, it makes this like big like uh, area comes up and then it shoots all these skulls out in the direction 
they also kind of go off randomly. I'm still not entirely sure how, what it, what how exactly it works. I spent five minutes testing it out, and it's always different. Like sometimes they go where my mouse is, sometimes they just go straight like that, and sometimes they just go out randomly. So, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. Okay, I, th I think it might just be go out straight, or yeah, because I didn't target them. It's still kind of confusing. Ow. That M1 is really good. Right, the, the Reaper's form. This is, it makes the nighttime flicker and it plays this really cool music. And you say, uh, this is the Reaper's final form. Roblox's, uh, text, like, bubble text is so glitchy, it's sad. That it doesn't work. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks really cool. It's my favorite, uh, looking aura out of anything in the game. I also like the music pretty snazzy. It, it gives you a massive speed boost. I'm not entirely sure what, what its other boosts are, though. I'm not sure if what its health and damage boosts are, if any. Though, though I think it might just be a speed boost, because that's what some of the other Duelixes are. Like, Leaf King was only a speed boost. I, th I think this is the uh, Robux, Robux shop guy. Wait, who is this guy? I actually have no clue who this is. I wonder if that's going to be in a new, uh, like, a, an upcoming event. Oh my god. I Im imagine if Leaf King gets, like, some sort of big, like, buff, because... Because I, I, I remember, so, so the developer, the, the, so the owner gave me the power, like the Grim Duelix, and he, and, uh, and, he, and he said that um, he took something for, took something from me. Oh my god, and I thought he just took all my money because I had a million. Oh, wow, I'm now a rocket ship. I'm a rocket ship. But but he said oh, something, uh, I asked him if he took my soul, and he said something more valuable. I wonder if it was Leaf King, because imagine if... Because he just randomly added this this update, too. I wonder if Leaf King is going to get some, like, new, like, massive upgrade or something that I don't know about. That would be crazy. Alright. So, so I'm going to use the Souls of the Dead one more time on, on these NPCs. You see, that, that one's a little bit more random. It's, it's very weird. And it also hits somebody behind it. Okay, I, I have really no clue how that works. But it's good for crowd control, just covering the entire arena. The main tactic you're going to be doing with this is kind of just running around and it, Oh, wow. I was going to say the main tactic is going to be spamming the gun, but for some reason it flung me. Roblox's physics. Roblox is actually planning to add new physics, I heard. So, so the main thing is just going to be running around and spamming that and also using this move to heal. But really, you should just be able to, you should be able to kill anyone with just a couple of shots with this without having to heal. But even if, But if you do need to heal, you can. So, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to play the game. See you guys next time. Bye.